So my driving instructor won't allow me on the motorway. What should I do? Is that because your driving is dodgy or? I mean, it could be. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so instructors, uh, again, me personally, when I feel someone's ready and if they want to go on the motorway, I'll, I'll, I'll take them on. Yeah, obviously, if they're not ready, I'll just tell Marlene, look, you're not fully ready. Let's, like, if you're, if you're on a dual carriage, that's 40 or 50 miles an hour, and you're really nervous and you're not controlling the car well, yeah. you're not ready to go on the motorway, are you? No. Yeah. So when someone's doing dual carriageways and driving at high speeds quite confidently, mm -hmm. yeah, and their lane changing is good, then that means you're ready to go onto the motorway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I've got no issue with taking anyone on the motorway as long as they're ready. So maybe because you're not fully ready, maybe that's what the instructor feels. Or some instructors, I think, they they might not be that comfortable taking the lunas on the motorway because they think it might be a high risk situation. But me personally, I I love to do it because I think the learners like again I'd rather they go on the motorway with, with with me and learn about it rather than just pass and then go on the motorway themselves and, and be in danger so okay it's it could be the fact that they're not ready or the instructor just doesn't feel comfortable going on the motorway so, hmm. so yeah, what? But, but the thing yeah so the thing you could do just ask your instructor why simple say why, why, why can't I go on the motorway and see if he gives you a, he or she gives you a valid reason okay yeah. So if they won't take me on the motorway, can I go on with my family or friends? No. 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 Your uh, learners are only allowed to go on the motorway with a fully qualified driving instructor with dual controls fitted in the car. Right. Yeah. You can't just go on the motorway with a, a family member or a friend. So even if you're practicing in your own car, you still can't go on unless it's dual controlled? Yeah. Obviously with an instructor? Yeah. Unless you're fully qualified, then you can. Yeah. Yeah. But before that, it's got to be with an instructor in a dual controlled vehicle. Okay. So, do I need to do a Pass Plus course? Do you need to do one? No, you don't, like, you don't have to do one. Yeah. Yeah, it's if you want to do one, then yes, yeah. So, with the Pass Plus, yeah, like before, I know it used to help with insurance. Yeah, your insurance used to come down. Yeah. But, again, there's a lot of companies that do take that into account, but there's a lot of companies that don't. Yeah, right. so if you do need to save money on insurance, just um, it's best to contact the insu uh, insurance provider first, yeah. Okay? Yeah. Um, because doing um, a pass plus, you have to have six hours, yeah. It does cost around any anything between 150 to 200 pound, yeah. And if it if you're doing it just to reduce money on the insurance, if your insurance is only going to drop by 100 pound, but you're paying 200 pound yeah the pass plus it's not really worth it no. but um in my experience the people that normally do it are the ones that want to get the ones that want to get more confident driving on the motorway country lanes if they haven't done it so um yeah if you want to do it for to build up your confidence and go on the motorway i definitely recommend it but yeah it's not like you have to do it there's no rule that you have to do it okay because okay? once you're qualified i see you don't have to take any lessons you can go on the motorway yourself if you want the world's your oyster. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you're good enough. <laughs> if you're good enough. So finally, I keep failing my practical test. What should I do? You keep failing. Yeah. Again, that's the difficult to go. You gotta like again. This is down to yourself. Yeah. To, to just think about what your weak areas are. Are there any weak areas in your driving? Uh, the learners have to like think about have they covered all the topics yeah um, what are they failing on are they failing on the same thing again and again mm -hmm. yeah or is it a different thing each time if it's a different thing each time it could be just down to the nerves again that uh, for that I think you'd have to have a conversation with the learner to like know exactly what they've been failing on mm -hmm. and could they, cause there could be different reasons but the main thing is like anyone going for the test yeah always say just more than your instructor, you guys should know yourself that I feel quite confident on this or don't feel good about this at all. Yeah? yeah. And a lot of people don't tell their instructor. A good instructor should be asking anyway, how do you feel about this, this, tell me your weak areas, what you don't feel confident about. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but if the, the instructor's not asking, just, just tell your instructor, you're paying for your driving lesson, your test is coming up. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel confident about something, say to your instructor, I want to do more of this and more of this. Yeah. And build up your confidence. The only way to get better on something is just practice, practice, practice. Okay. Okay, so yeah, with that, just um, like I said, if you keep failing, you've got to know what it's for. It's mm -hmm. the same thing with your different stuff. And nerves, a lot of people put it down to nerves, but sometimes it's just like you're not the right standard. Right. Okay.
So with that, how do I know if my instructor is a good instructor and that they're teaching me the right way? Uh, again, you can watch my videos. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> right, so, um, like, I've, uh, what I've done is I've, um, I'm going to do this again now, where I'm going to take a learner from scratch, film every lesson, and just have a look at the lesson format. Uh, it's got to be, uh, the, your lesson should be similar to that, where every lesson should start with a recap Mm -hmm. what you know what we did in the previous lesson agree what you're going to do today yeah, yeah. and why you're doing it is it do you, something that you really need to do mm -hmm. yeah it shouldn't be the instructor getting in the car and saying oh we're doing this today where you were thinking about doing something else mm -hmm. yeah and so you got to agree your lesson goal and then actually work on that and agree what kind of level of help you're going to need because uh, some instructors might be helping too much yeah so yeah let's wait for that camera to stop beeping cool Right, so some instructors might be helping too much, mm -hmm. yeah, and some instructors might not be helping enough. So they don't agree the correct level of help. Like I, I get some learners who come to me like, my instructor just used to keep telling me what to do when I didn't need that help. Yeah. And some were like, he wasn't telling me enough. So yeah, agree, the instructor should agree the correct level of help. And then obviously you go out and practice that. And as you're getting better, the instructor should give you less help. Again, agree with you. And if there's something going wrong, you got to find a way to sort out both of you, yeah? And yeah. is your instructor giving you good feedback, asking you questions about how you're feeling as well? It shouldn't be just the instructor, it should be about you as well. Let's say you know your lessons are, are good or not, are you progressing? <laughs> is your instructor keeping a log of um, your lessons and giving you a progress record as well, so you know where you're at? So yeah, you just got to have a good, you should know if your instructor is giving you a good structure of your, if your lesson is well structured or not. Mm -hmm. Okay, so those are some of the things you should be looking for. That's so you know, yeah, this is a good lesson or not. Okay. okay. Cool. Okay. Answers that. Cool. I think that answers everything. Yeah, so those are pretty good questions. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so um, <laughs> you're definitely doing your work and come up with um, uh, those questions that have been. I can, I can totally agree that those are definitely the most frequently asked questions. So that wraps up all the questions we've got today. Thank you very much for answering them for us. Thanks a lot Lauren for getting all those questions together and uh, having me on. We've loved having you on. <laughs> Cheers, <thanks. laughs> so make sure you come back for our next videos and you like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!